Melody of Memory has to be the most bizarre Kingdom Hearts release in a very long time, maybe ever, not just because it's a rhythm game either, though rather the timing. I mean, we just had released almost two years ago now, geez, and Kingdom Hearts 3, one of the most anticipated JRPGs of all time, the most anticipated Kingdom Hearts game of all time, breaking nearly every record previous games in the series held, and then only one year later we get released Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, serving as our sort of unofficial introduction into the next saga. You would think that Square Enix would capitalize on this sort of hype with a big title like a Verum Rex or a Birth by Sleep 2. I don't know, I'm just kind of throwing fake tiles out there, though no, Square decided the next big leap in the Kingdom Hearts series would be Kingdom Hearts Dark Road and Melody of Memory. It's kind of funny really, Melody of Memory is something Kingdom Hearts fans have wanted for a long long time, but the timing couldn't be any more awkward. From a certain perspective, you could say that this is the perfect time because we've just finished a major long running arc in the series, and this is kind of the only buffer time between between titles that we've probably had since the series original conception, but like you would think on the other note that they'd capitalize on the hype in a different way by maybe going all the way in, especially after the hype that Remind created for the next saga. Melody of Memory is planned to have story content, but it's been repeated in interviews with the people working on the game that it won't be nearly as much as what we'd be used to from a Kingdom Hearts story. This is by technicality, our sequel to Kingdom Hearts 3. And I I say that sentence a lot because it's kind of funny that our sequel to Kingdom Hearts 3 is a canon rhythm game, though Melody of Memory is just really fun. You can play the demo right now actually. Square Enix was gracious enough to provide me with early access to the demo a couple of weeks ago and it was honestly a blast, and I'm actively anticipating songs in the game right now as if I would anticipate a boss battle in Kingdom Hearts 3 or any other game. It's honestly a little surprising me saying that because of how addicting this game can be at times, and despite its $60 price tag, I think it's well worth anyone's time to go ahead and give it a try. Seriously, this game is just really fun, and Square made an amazing move by deciding to release a demo for this game, which would give people who might be a little bit more skeptical about trying out a rhythm game a chance to, you know, have some fun with it. If you like the music of the Kingdom Hearts series, you will love Melody of Memory. Though I must warn you guys, I was under the impression the game would be a cake walk, but Nope. When I played the demo for the first time, I was mostly playing on Standard and Proud, and both could be very difficult. That's not even mentioning things like Performer Mode either, which you gotta be a madman to try. Like, some of my friends. I'm actually, like, super jealous of, like, all the people on Twitter posting, like, their Performer Mode clips from Melody of Memory. Like, I can still barely do Wave of Darkness on Proud Mode. You guys are actually just insane. This might end up being the Kingdom Hearts game. I might be the worst at, which will be pretty funny. I can level 1 Yazor, I can do all pro codes on Xion and Terranor and Marluxia and so on, but Melody of Memory, a rhythm game, not in my comfort zone. Though, I'll learn and I'll get better, hopefully. You guys will just have to see how good I am um, when the game actually comes out. Melody of Memory is also just in a really awkward position because the release of the game is around the same time as the PS5 and Xbox Series X releases, just hours actually before the next generation of consoles drop, which I'm tempted to say might be a weird move because how many people are going to choose getting a rhythm game over a PS5 or a Xbox Series X? Well, I will, but I'm going to put my hand down here. Like, for me, it's a no-brainer. Anything Kingdom Hearts, I'm probably going to buy on day one for multiple reasons, not only because I'm a fan, but also because I make content on the game for you guys. But this could be something that majorly affects the launch sales of Melody of Memory, though I could and likely will be completely wrong. Because Kingdom Hearts fans are some of the most loyal fans out there. The fact that this game has story at all surrounding Kyrie, no less, which people like myself have been begging for is already a reason to pre-order the game for some people. This game also might have more replay value than 90% of other Kingdom Hearts games due to how customized the experience is with difficulty, co-op, and the online mode that we haven't even gotten a full showcase of yet. 
This game, if you are a rhythm game fanatic, could give you hundreds of hours of playtime just enjoying the music and getting those A rings. I mean, I know a lot of people already spent a bunch of hours on the Melody of Memory demo, and that's just with four songs. Well, including co op, you have two additional, so six. But that's six songs compared to 140 plus. So this game's gonna give you content like crazy. As time goes on and on, we get closer and closer to the release for Melody of Memory, which is only a little under two weeks from now, I start to kind of forget that this game is a canon Kingdom Hearts game that will technically progress the story in some way, shape, or form. And after playing the demo, I'm starting to kind of approach this game from a different point of view that I had just a couple of weeks ago. I'm taking a more chill, laid-back approach to this release and contrast the pop-offs and hype that previous Kingdom Hearts games gave me with their trailers. I think this game, very similarly to a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, but with a lot more depth, will be a Kingdom Hearts game I can vibe with a little more, as it's focused around the music of Kingdom Hearts. It will be something relaxing, something comforting, something I can go back to kind of whenever I want and still have a ton of fun, in a different way from what the other Kingdom Hearts games offer, which is primarily a single player story experience. I don't know what the contents of Melody of Memory's main story will entail, but I'm hoping it has something I can take away from it, but even if it doesn't, I might be fine with that now. Though I will openly hope for a major ending that connects to the next game, which Nomura has already teased in interviews. Some are more tempted to save their money and skip out on Melody of Memory because it's a rhythm game, or because it won't have as much story, which are understandable reasons, whether I disagree with them or not. This is likely a Kingdom Hearts game you'll be able to buy whenever and potentially have the same experience, which I surprisingly think is rare for Kingdom Hearts, mostly because they're as story-focused as they are. This this isn't 100% though, these are just my guesses based on my loose perspective of the game structure. It doesn't seem like there will be a lot of story in this game, which is normally a big focus of Kingdom Hearts games, but not really this one. The canon story is like a bonus, a cherry on top of the cake. It's like we got multiplayer, we got the fire music, we got multiple playable characters. Oh, and yeah, we got a little bit of story too. That's kind of the vibe this game gives off to me. Though, I think I've rambled long enough. I just wanted to kind of document on this day what my thoughts were heading into Melody of Memory. I'm likely going to be making a ton of content on the game leading into the release. I want to do a little fun video where I try and predict what the hardest songs in the game might be, and I might add my friend Cavern and Yaya into that video. We'll see when it comes out. I'm also slowly getting back into the groove of things. I'm currently settling into a new house at the moment, and I want to work hard this month with content because I know I lacked communication last month, and I feel like I owe it to you guys to work as hard as I possibly possibly can to give you the rundown on everything Kingdom Hearts related for the foreseeable future. I want to end off 2020 as sucky as this year has been in a big way for the channel and start off 2021 even better and get a snowball effect going maybe. Though making the content to make that happen is the most important part and I want to thank everyone for supporting me despite the little breaks and complications that 2020 has brought on all of us. Seriously, thank you so so much. It means a lot to me that I can take breaks occasionally and come back and a lot of you are still here. It's easy to take that for granted sometimes. Seriously, though, uh, thank you guys. Um, my name is Prodigy, and I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye.